Yo, what's up, Matt? Hey, man. What's going on? You know, just hanging out here in Flux, thinking about what the next Steam Challenge could be. Hmm. I don't know. What's up with you? Uh, I actually was on vacation. Vacation? So, yeah, I was oh. I was down the beach. The beach? Yep. Nice. How was it? It was great. I, I spent some time sunbathing. I read a book. I went for a walk. Nice. Do any swimming? The weird thing was the ocean was kind of gross. There was all this garbage washing up on the on the beach. Plastic bottles, plastic bags, straws, just I saw a band-aid. No. All yeah. right. Ba it was it was <laughs> Band-aids are the worst, right? When you're swimming and you see a floating band-aid. Yeah. The worst. I, I couldn't. Do well, I wonder like do you think that's just at your beach that pollution? We should look into it. That's actually a really good idea. Let's do some research. Research! All right. All right, Matt. So I'm looking here. I found a couple things. Yeah, me too. Are you seeing this? Yeah, it's unreal, right? So we got ocean pollution, which is, is called marine pollution. Yeah. Uh, it's a combination of like chemicals and trash. And it looks like a lot of that comes from land sources. And it's either like washed or blown into the ocean. Oh man, this says that 80% of all pollution in the ocean comes from garbage on land. That's unreal, man. And I'm seeing that, you know, there's like chemical pollution and trash pollution, um, and it, it has all these really bad impacts. It hurts the environment, hurts the organisms, and there's even some uh, like global economy stuff going on yeah. that it affects. Unreal, right? So Matt, it's like marine trash, which is another word for ocean. So we got ocean pollution. It's like all these manufactured products, and most of them are plastic. They end up in the ocean. Wow. So we got like littering and storm winds and poor waste management, all contribute to that. That's that's unreal. That's crazy. Yeah, and it's like plastic items, right? Like plastic bottles, straws. I think a lot of stuff that you were talking about yeah, that, that you were swimming that's with. That's a lot of band-aids. You know yeah, that's gross. So yeah, so it looks like you know, a couple things that are going on. One, the trash poses a danger to both humans and animals. Fish can become tangled and injured in the debris and pollution. Some of the animals even mistake the items like plastic plastic bags, not plastic, but some of the items of plastic bags uh, for food and they eat them. Ew. Yeah. Ugh. And then like those small organisms that eat the plastic get eaten by bigger organisms. So that plastic ends up in like big organisms. Man, that's not kosher. Nah, and there's like, these thing called microplastics, and they're really, really small things that float around in the ocean. And the bummer is, some of the plastics and pollution doesn't just stay at the surface, it actually sinks a little bit to the bottom. Oh man, so there's even more than I saw. More, there's even some plastics you can't really see with the naked eye, and it sends, scientists here call this like pepper plastic, or it's like really small specks of pepper, or oh, plastic, okay. pepper yeah, plastic that. pepper picking, um, that floats around, and the little fish eat it, and it, it's just a mess, man, wow. it's a mess. Jeez. So yeah, I don't. I, what can we do about oh, this? Matt. What? I have an idea. What? What if we use this for our next flux challenge? What? How? What would you do? What if for the next flux challenge, you invented a way to clean up the oceans? That's a good idea, but. It's a fantastic idea. So what are some things we could invent? <sighs> I don't know. Let's do some brainstorming. All right, Matt, so I think we should do some brainstorming for this. And remember, we're trying to create an invention that's going to clean up the ocean. Yeah, let's think of some ideas. All right, picture this, okay? I'm thinking we train an animal, hmm. say like a dolphin, because I'm pretty sure okay. dolphins like the smartest animal in the world. Sure. So we train these dolphins to swim around. They find trash, they identify it. They pick up the trash. Okay, you following me? Yeah, sort of. They, they take the trash to a designated area in the ocean. Okay. They drop the trash in there and then they're awarded, say, like a goldfish. A, a, like an underwater trash can. Yep. That and the just dolphins, sounds like the same problem we were having before. I'm what about a, something just like, we get a bunch of volunteers and every weekend they go out and pick up the trash off the beach. What do you think? I, I mean, sure. Or we get, uh, we get boats out there that have long nets behind them and they they drag the ocean and clean up the trash that way. Um, I mean, yeah. all right. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, what do you think? I mean, we all have ideas, I don't know about it. Right, so, I mean, some of them are better than others, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean. We could use some help. Robots. Uh, 
What if we make a robot, a trash identifying, identifying robot, could even have like a submarine mode on it, and the robot goes into submarine mode, floats around, grabs uh -huh. trash, takes it. What are you going to suggest next? We take all the water out of the ocean and then pick up the trash that way and then put the, uh, put the water back in the ocean? Jeez, come on, oh, man. You know, there's no bad ideas. Well, I've heard a few today, so. All right, yeah. why don't we do this? Why don't we leave the idea and brainstorming to the experts out there for our Flux Challenge that's and vent away cleanup idea. That's, that's the best idea you've had today. Thanks, man. Yeah. See? I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. So for this challenge, you're going to invent something that's going to clean up the ocean. And for this, we want you to come up with an idea. We had some really great ideas a moment well. ago. Um, so what you do is you're going to record that idea. And you're going to make what's called a prototype of your invention. So a prototype doesn't even have to be working and it could be a smaller scale, just something that's gonna help you share your idea of what you're actually making. Now sometimes when you're doing these exercises, you're gonna have constraints. And a big constraint or limitation is that you're probably not gonna be able to make the large scale model of this or go to an ocean or go to a boat and try this out. So it's the whole idea of sending that message and convenient conveying. Is it convening or conveying? I, uh, I don't know. Just Getting your message out there uh, in a, in a really cool manner. So we really think you guys should build a prototype. Use whatever you have. Legos, connects, you know, cardboard, anything recyclable materials maybe might be cool to kind of think of a prototype that you could create for your invention. And there's a really cool resource out there developed by Sharp and Dot Design and there's a lesson student guide that goes along with this. And educators, it would help your students kind of understand this process of design thinking and creating a prototype. And kids, it does a really good idea, of, really good job, I should say, of organizing this exercise down where you can specialize in a, you know, a question, a problem, identify a solution, and come up with some really cool ideas. So definitely check out the Sharpen Dot Design resource that we have linked below and have some fun with it. And remember, Matt, this is important. You're going to share these out on social media. Make sure that you tag Flux and use hashtag Flux2 Steam 4 because we're on to the 4 challenge here at Season 2. So have some fun, invent something that can clean up the ocean. We'll see you guys soon.